Hello everyone, this is Robin and welcome to my channel, MyPinkSamper.com. I hope you're having a fabulous day. I am going to go ahead and jump right in with today's tutorial using our Little Twinkle stamp set. I'm going to be doing some heat embossing with this stamp set, but I'm going to show you maybe something that you aren't familiar with. You may be familiar with this. This is showing you how to use any of our current or past, present, future ink colors and using our clear embossing powder with them to make them emboss. Now, I'm not using the Versamark with this technique. You can also do this with the Versamark, but if you're super quick, you can also do it with just an ink pad. All right, so let's hop right in. I will have everything on the screen today that I'm using and the item code will be also on here. Everything you see today can be purchased directly from my shopping page, mypinkstamper.stampinup.com. And I am Robin. Oh wait, mypinkstamper.stampinup.net. I don't know, I'll have it on the screen. I don't even remember. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna start with our Whisper White cardstock. And I'm gonna do use our a quick swipe of our embossing buddy. This helps the embossing powder to not stick everywhere. And I just have my clear, I have all of my embossing powders in these little plastic containers that I just got at the dollar store. It helps me to keep them nice and organized and I love them in there. So we are going to take our pool party ink pad and I'm using just one stamp from the stamp set and that is a star is born. I'm gonna show you how to make little pillow box gifts for maybe a baby shower or a gift for someone. You can also switch this idea up and use it with what, any stamp set and ink colors, but this is just one idea. I'm going to take the stamp, ink it up really nicely, stamp it on my cardstock, and then if you're super quick, you can just pour a little bit of the embossing powder on, shake it off, and it'll stick on here. And now I'm going to use our heat tool right here. I'm going to set it to two. And you can just watch it melt. If you want to move your gun around, you can. If you want to heat it from the bottom, you can. I just usually start at one side, and I watch it melt. And you should be able to see it change consistency in just a second. It'll get all shiny and pretty. And the little embossing powder beads will melt. And this just gives you a fun little look. You can see it. I'll have a close-up picture at the end to show you exactly how shiny and fun it is in person. Okay, don't touch that right away after you're done embossing. I'm gonna put everything away for a second. Most of the time my craft space is just a hot mess, but if I have time, I like to clean up as I go. All right, so I can set that aside. Now I'm just going to simply take a pair of scissors. These are our paper snips here. I like them because they're nice and sharp for small pieces. So I'm just going to just quickly. Now I have my last little snip and I have my star right here and I will set that aside. I don't have a garbage can over here anymore. I don't know what the deal is. That's going to be a little difficult. Okay. I'm grabbing a piece of our vellum cardstock. It comes in eight and a half by 11, but I just have a little scrap piece here and I'm going to use our two inch circle punch. We also have our layering circles framelits, but sometimes you just wanna grab a punch and do it super quick. It's totally up to you. All right, now I have all of the pieces that I need to finish this pillow box. So I have here, this is one of our pillow boxes in the catalog, and we're gonna leave it flat just for a few seconds here. I have some of our retiring designer series paper in the Settles collection. So if you fall in love with this today, you might wanna grab a stack of it. I believe they're 10 or $11 for a six by six stack containing all of our Settles colors in the pack. Um, and they're two-sided. There's 
some different patterns in there. This is cut at three quarters inch by, I believe, I don't have my measure out here. I think it's like four inches, three and three quarters or four inches. And I'm just gonna set that aside. I have some of our pearlized doilies. I'm gonna grab just a quick background piece of paper here, already used. And I'm going to take some of our snail adhesive with the shiny side down because the shiny part doesn't stick as well. With the shiny part down, I'm going to put adhesive on the other side and just add this right here. And now I'm going to go ahead and add this piece here. Just straight across right here, just adding a little color and texture. Now I'm going to take the box and go ahead and put it together. You just kind of feel where it's scored. It's already pre-scored for you. you can just, and I do have another video. I'll try to link this in the bottom if I remember, showing you how to make your own pillow boxes from one of these pillow boxes so you can customize it and make it whatever color you want. And I think I, I did a Coastal Cabana one. Okay. It is really raining outside today. How's the weather in your area? Is it winter, summer where you live? My daughter's in Australia right now for the summer and it's winter there. So almost winter there and it's almost summer here. Okay, so I have that. I'm gonna take that off really quick. I want this to kind of go across a little bit easier. There we go. All right, so now I have this all set up. I'm going to take some of our beautiful Whisper White polka dot ribbon and I'm gonna wrap this around, make it a little bit longer because I'm going to try to do a fun little bow. This is some of my favorite ribbon because it's usually, I better not say it yet, it's usually pretty easy to make a bow with. You don't have to have any fancy template or anything like that, any tool, you can just do it yourself. And I'm just going to pull it around like that, pull it through here, and pull it through. And I have a fun little whimsical bow, and I made it a little bit. I had way too much, so I'll put this in my scrap so I can use it later for just different embellishments. Save all of your, all of your pieces, guys. You will definitely need them at some point in your crafting life. Okay, let's turn our star over. And I'm gonna add two dimensionals to the back, top and bottom. And I'm gonna stick this on our vellum. The vellum just gives it an added touch because you can kind of see things through the vellum. So it's really nice because it gives it a nice muted accent, I guess you could say. And I'm just going to slip this right in here, put this right on here, and I might need to put the, if you want to put the, nope, they turned out fine. Okay, so you could put the dimensionals over off to the side if you want it to stick a little bit over here. You can do that. Here's one and here's another. And now they're all ready to be filled up with goodies for a fun shower or surprise gift for a friend. If you like what you saw today, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget to click the little notification bell to be notified when I have a new video for you. You can find me over on my blog and website, mypinkstamper.com. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.